Right now, I'm not concerned about what others think. And it's relatively, this, this mindset is relatively recent and it's powerful and it's humbling. And I wasn't always this way. My name's Angel and I'm from San Diego. My name's Corinne and I'm from San Diego. My name's Cosette. I'm from Dallas, Texas originally. My name is Diamond. The universe. I'm LaRoche, Dallas, Texas. My name is Maya Guadalupe Turner Tamayo. I am from California. I was born in Oakland, but I was raised in San Diego and then a little bit back in the Bay Area. And then I hopped over to Hawaii for a little bit and I came back. So I like to say, just all of California. <laughs> uh, my name is Rebecca Chamberlain. I am from Colorado. Not concerned with what others would think, what would you be doing with your life? Uh, I think I'd be following my passion of uh, probably archaeology and uh, maybe uh, digging up specifically paleontology, so dinosaur bones would be cool. Um, ever since I was a kid, I've always loved that. Jurassic Park's been my favorite movie. When I was a child, I'm literally wearing a Jurassic Park shirt right now underneath my sweater. Whoa. Ooh, I'd probably be singing all the time. <laughs> but it's scary. <laughs> um, I definitely probably probably be acting instead of being <laughs> like going on the career path that I'm on right now. I've really never been concerned about what anybody thinks. When you're born with this beautiful hue of skin. You can't be concerned about anything but what's on the inside of yourself. The end. I do me, and I do it great. If I wasn't concerned with what other people think, um, I would probably, probably write science fiction or fiction. Yeah. Right now I'm in engineering and I'm um, a developer, and it's it's really nice for kind of paying the bills and just setting up a future, but I think my personal passion is in science fiction and writing novels, but I'm kind of scared if my novels would be good and if people would want to read them, so it kind of uh, makes me scared to take that step, I'd say. Um, it's actually what I'm doing right now. I'm not concerned about what others think, and it's relatively, this, this mindset is relatively recent, and it's powerful and it's humbling, and I wasn't always this way. And um, so what I'm doing with my life is I'm living my dreams now. I'm not waiting for the future. So I'm writing poetry, I'm dancing, I'm loving fiercely, compassionately, tenderly, towards myself, first and foremost, so that I'm capable of giving it to you. Um, I think I would be probably telling everybody about Jesus, not gonna lie. All right, so what would you need to happen for you to move towards what you really desire to do? Ooh, uh, I think financial stability. Uh, I think that's probably the most important thing because I have the time. It's the financial aspect of going and getting a, getting a master's and then keep on continuing to getting a PhD to be able to do that full time. Ooh, just, just stop caring what people think. Well, at the end of the day, right? Like, it only matters what we think of ourselves and the people around us. That's all that really matters. All yeah. the outside noise doesn't right. doesn't really matter that much. I just need a lot more money. Um, I just don't have the time or the money right now to be doing stuff like that, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. So it's something that's instilled at home. I think your first five years has to be concentrated on things you only could imagine. And when you live in that space of imagination, you can create anything. I think that I'd have to be feeling a lot like safer in my future, knowing that I don't have to necessarily work just to live. And then I could take that plunge because then I don't have to worry anymore about the next day or the next month, just go for it. Um. I think I need to know more of who I am, like who God says I am, not care so much about who people say I am, yeah. I transitioned out of a six year relationship last year and it brought me, it brought me oh, all the way down and um, it was hard to see the light for a little bit um, and I came to the realization that I was dimming my light 
for a very long time in a relationship, codependent, <laughs> hiding, isolated, yeah, like kind of like we all have been. And when that ended, that, 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 that codependency had to end too. And I had to return to myself. And it was rough. It was rough, don't get me wrong. I didn't think, sometimes I was like, I didn't see the light at the end of the tunnel some days, but I'm so grateful now for that hardship because the hardship makes you stronger. The weight makes you stronger. But you don't have to carry it. You can let it go. And I've let it go. So I'm grateful for all the experiences I've had, even with my ex-partner. Um, I love you, Eric. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, so that was a catalyst for sure. But I was raised with a very loving mother and I have generational blessings. So it's been following me my whole life and it's been waiting for me to shine.